Please welcome President of Games for Change, Susanna Pollock. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you this morning. So hello and welcome to the 20th anniversary of the Games for Change Festival. <laughs> for those of you um, who I haven't had a chance to meet, I'm Susanna Pollock and I'm president and I have the honor to be president of this organization. Um, and whether you are a G4C regular or a first time with us today, we are so happy that you're with us right now. This is really a special milestone moment for us. 20 years ago, in 2004, a group of game developers, not-for-profit leaders, educators, and researchers first came together in the basement of the New York Academy of Sciences to explore how video games could have an impact beyond entertainment. Now, we've come a long way since then, but in many ways, we've stayed true to our community's roots. In fact, some of the people here with us today were among the first organizers of that very first Games for Change Festival in 2004. And in fact, the co-founders, I don't know if they're here right now, uh, but we've got Benjamin Stokes and Barry Joseph and Suzanne Sagerman, who will share their reflections on 20 years of G4C later this afternoon. So for those of you who are new to our community, I'd like to say a few words about what we do here at, here at Games for Change. So we were founded with the simple premise that video games can have a power beyond entertainment. Our mission is to empower creators, developers, and social innovators to use games to drive, and immersive media to drive real-world impact. In addition to the G4C Festival, we run year-round programs focused on inspiring, elevating, and growing the G4C community. Whether it's executive producing award-winning impact games and virtual reality projects, inspiring the next generation of game designers through the G4C Student Challenge, or facilitating workshops for educators on games and learning. We are always working to expand the capacity of games and immersive media for impact. Since that first festival 20 years ago, Games for Change has championed the idea that games and immersive media can drive and make the world change and to make the world a better place. And when we look at the G4C community today, it's clear that we've reached critical mass in terms of awareness, innovation, and collaboration. Our community has been ra rapidly growing around the globe, and now there are G4C chapters in Latin America, Europe, Asia Pacific, and Africa, as well as a growing community in the Middle East. Many of our chapter leads are here today, this week as well, and I hope you have a chance to meet them. With growing awareness that games can have a power beyond entertainment, we have this opportunity for a new chapter of innovation and collaboration. So for 20 years, the festival has been shining a spotlight on social innovation and building a powerful evidence base to support the use of games and XR for good. And we feel that now is the right time to reflect on what we've learned, crystallize our understanding of the best practices, and advance new projects that push the boundaries of what's possible when it comes to impact. Our mission is to spur cross-sector collaboration, and it has brought together leaders in gaming, media, healthcare, education, philanthropy, policy, and we need to create a shared vision for impact and invite even more collaborations, including young people, into the fold. So as I said, this 20th anniversary is a milestone and it's a moment to reflect on um, and celebrate the growth of the G4C community. It's not just us, the organization, it's all of you who've been working in this space and growing it for the last 20 years. And we should really be proud of the trailblazing innovation and, come, and think about how we can come together and collectively have a future and a vision for the future of games, immersive media and impact. So this year's festival uh, has included an expanded week of events here in our home base of New York City. We started over the weekend with our annual Brain Jam that we run with uh, Carnegie Mellon University. Anyone here in the audience were participants in that? Yeah, a couple of you here. Really, thank you all for doing it. We had uh, over 60 uh, developers who worked in virtual and mixed reality along with scientists and they collaborated over two and a half days to come up with solutions that help the scientists' area of research. 
all of the prototypes that were developed during that uh, jam are going to be uh, on show at the Immersive Arcade downstairs, and also a few of them are selected to speak um, and talk about their work later today. And so really, thank you and congratulations. And yesterday, we had the first of its kind Games and Sust Sustainable Development Goals Summit at the Delegates Dining Room in the United Nations headquarters, where we discussed how the games industry can help advance the UN Global's goals. And then on Friday, at the other end of our week, we are going to hold the inaugural Next Gen Summit at the Microsoft Experience Center, which we will bring together over 100 students, ages 13 to 18, and game professionals from across New York City. The goal of the event is to educate, inspire, and empower these middle and high school students to become responsible gamers, creator of uh, game projects, and offer them an opportunity to meet people from this industry as a career discovery day. We are so excited to add these additional events and welcome new audiences to the community beyond the two core events that bring us together, the Games to Change Festival and the XR for Change Summit, which happens on Thursday. Because now more than ever, we are feeling the urgency for global cross-sector collaboration as the challenges that we face you know, and the opportunities that there are for impact, you know, are real. They are increasingly too big and complex and interconnected for any one group to solve alone. But we've also seen the power of this community to come together and drive across lines of identity, sector, and geography, and drive meaningful change. We've seen that power firsthand at G4C through the growth of this community, with more chapters around the world, more groundbreaking projects and initiatives to celebrate, and more ways to get involved. So over the next two days, we will be bringing you more stories and ideas that would help you inspire, imagine, and ignite the change we need to see in the world. We hope that you come away from these talks and these panels and workshops and topic tables with fresh examples and insights to apply to your work and ideas for collaboration and connection with others in this space. Some highlights from today's program include a panel discussion with the UN Environment Program's Playing for the Planet initiative, um, a fireside chat on how AI, uh, on generative AI, you know, all of us are, are thinking about the opportunities and risks associated with that, with an organization called All Tech is Human. We'll also have a show and tell from G4C's international chapters in Latin America and Africa, and also the funder session that I spoke about earlier, um, and you'll hear more about their thoughts about the 20 years that have uh, preceded or have this, has come after since their founding of the organization. Um, in the afternoon, we have our annual meet and play sessions. So while this program will wrap up at five o'clock, we are going to invite everybody over to the Microsoft Experience Center across the street, where we will have an afternoon of networking sessions, everything from speed networking to meet the funder sessions to workshops. Um, and there's also an opportunity to meet with speakers. So all of our speakers are invited to join us after that, um, after the day's program ends here. Um, um, for casual uh, refreshments, cocktails, and conversation. We are so grateful to our sponsors for making it possible to come together like this. Thank you to our hero partners, Microsoft, Riot, and Verizon for your invaluable contributions and support. We also want to thank our major partners, the Entertainment Software Association, Hasbro, Unity, and YouTube, as well as supporting and community sponsors, Amazon Games, Dell, Endless, HTC, the New York, New York City Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment, the New York State Council for the Arts, the Susan Crown Exchange, Midiar Network, Exala, the Bigglesworth Family Foundation, Shell Games, Carnegie Mellon University, Logic Tech, Postmates, and Gunderson Detmar. There's a lot of people supporting and a lot of organizations supporting our work, and we are eternally grateful. I want to say, if you need assistance at any time, please go find somebody with a red t-shirt. They're hard to miss. It says Games for Change. There are staff and volunteers that will point you to the right direction. Um, so before we officially kick off the festival, I'd also like to begin with a formal land acknowledgement. Every community owns, owes its existence and vitality to generations from around the world who contributed their hopes, dreams, and energy to making history that led to this moment. Some were brought here against their will, 
and some were drawn here to leave their distant homes in hope of a better life. And some have lived on this land for more generations that can be counted. Truth and acknowledgement are critical to building mutual respect and connection across all barriers of heritage and difference. We begin this effort to acknowledge what has been buried by honoring the truth. I am standing on the ancestral Lenape homelands and recognize the longstanding significance for these lands for the Lenape nations past and present. We are also conscious that New York City has the largest urban native population in the United States. Please take a moment to consider the many legacies of violence, displacement, migration, and settlement that bring us here today. Now, I'd like to offer a very warm welcome from the New York City Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment to kick off today's program. Please welcome our partner, Aaliyah Jones Harvey, to the stage. Good morning. Welcome to New York City. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I would be remiss if I did not say congratulations to Games for Change Festival on its 20th anniversary, bringing us together here in New York City. Uh, the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment has been here uh, to welcome you for the last five years. We work to support, strengthen, and promote the creative industries and make them accessible for all. These industries support over 500,000 jobs and make up 10% of our city's GDP. New York City is proudly the creative capital of the world, home to the world-renowned film and television industry, of course, home to one of the world's largest and most influential music ecosystems, including talented artists, major labels, the most live entertainment venues in the country, and over 70 digital music service startups. The theater capital of the world, including Broadway, Off-Broadway, and Off-Off-Broadway, and the epicenter of the news, advertising, publishing, and even the podcasting industries. But most importantly, we're here today to talk about digital games. Uh, these sectors are the reason why so many people want to visit, work, and live in New York City. We have made a commitment to grow digital games in this city, and at this stage, we know that digital games support over 7,600 jobs and generate $2 billion in economic impact. Our mayor is dedicated to increasing our digital games and esports presence to make New York City a global hub for the industry. We are trying to accomplish this in multiple ways. Uh, as the mayor announced last spring, we are funding the first ever public option uh, game design program at City College. All right, thank you, thank you. We're very excited about that. Uh, we are in the middle of our inaugural NYC Summer of Games initiative, a celebration of all the digital games events taking place around the city this summer. That includes workshops, classes, festivals like Games for Change, esports events, arcades, expos, and more. You can go to nyc.gov slash digital games to find nyc.gov slash digital games to find out more about the events going on around New York City all this summer. To kick off New York City Summer of Games, we hosted the inaugural Minecraft Battle of the Boroughs Mayor's Cup uh, in June. And of course, you can't have a battle of the boroughs unless you're on a battleship, so we hosted it on the Intrepid. Um, we had students representing each of the five boroughs, 10 teams, a junior team and a senior team. The students were challenged to build a more sustainable New York City. 
and Mayor Adams was on hand to crown both the junior and senior teams. Uh, the senior team from Brooklyn um, and the junior team came from Staten Island. And we were really excited that the junior team was an all-girl team. And so to give you background on another one of our key tactics for supporting the digital games industry in New York City, I'm pleased to introduce our new commissioner of the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment, Pat Sweeney Kaufman. Thank you, Aaliyah, for that introduction. And let me tell you, if you want to meet somebody that really knows what's going on with games in New York City and what New York City is going to do to help all of you to make your games in New York City, you need to know Aaliyah. She's the czarina for digital gaming within city government. Yay, Aaliyah. And thank you, Susanna, and congratulations on the 20th anniversary. I keep waiting for the champagne. I'm sure it's coming. So I'm here to say that New York City is open for business. And the business that we are really excited about now is digital game production. We are welcoming, oh, did, yes. We are welcoming the companies like yourselves who are here looking to develop in and take advantage of the unique creative environment that we, an ecosystem that we have here in New York, which Aaliyah just described. Uh, and we encourage you to come and take advantage of all that we have to offer that's specific to your industry. We have a great New York State tax credit for digital games. We offer a diverse and deep workforce, a talented workforce, and we pledge the resources of, our, of MOM, which is our agency, the New York City Economic Development Corporation and Tourism. They're all there to work to help you, and they are, they, we are aggressively engaging the industry to develop more ways that we can support what you're trying to do. In addition to all that, we are so proud to announce the first ever Made in New York Digital Gaming Market Credit, which provides advertising opportunities for digital games that are made in New York City, which is the number one media market in the country. Drum roll, please. Now we are here for a very exciting announcement because we are announcing the first ever company to win the first marketing credit. And that company is Every Realm. Drum now, really, the drum now. They're going to receive free marketing all over New York City to support the launch of their new game, RU1. It's set to be released this fall here in New York City and across the country. And what's really nice is that as a component of the marketing credit, they are making a donation to Games for Change. So every realm, come on over. Congratulations. And Susanna, come back over. Oh, and a oh, roll tape. We have a, right, we have a video. Nice because it really all comes full circle. The fact that our first uh, marketing award is going to every realm, a New York company, and that it's going to their donation is going to Games for Change, uh, an organization of which we are so proud. Congratulations! Hi, thank you so much, Pat, and to the mayor's office. My name is Janine Yorio, and I'm the CEO of Every Realm. 
We are so honored to be the recipient of the mayor's uh, grant and to build RU1 in this amazing city. RU1 is a technology product that's family friendly and built for children who love social video games. And we actually built it with a team of New York City children who helped design the product from its inception. We filmed all of our marketing on the streets of Brooklyn using New York City kids and we plan to make New York City and the talent behind it an integral part of the game from its launch this September. So thank you so much. Obviously this award is a, a testament to the mayor's foresight in trying to attract the video gaming industry to New York City, which makes a ton of sense given the depth of talent here that brings together design, music, tech, marketing, all the things that this city is so wonderful for. Thank you so much.